Hey guys, today I'm going to go through five tips on how to do multiple kicks without putting your foot down. Tip number one is to pick a height that you can hold your leg at easily. So me personally, I can't hold my leg at head level for a long time. So I pick more of chest level or stomach level to do multiple kicks at. Tip number two is to pick kicks that flow easily together. So for instance, a hook kick to a round kick flow easily because the hook kick ends in kind of a round kick chamber, so looking like this. But if you did it the opposite way, a round kick to a hook kick, that's a lot of leg movement that wouldn't really flow together. So for instance, a round kick to a hook kick, you have to bring your foot all the way back, so that's not as easy. Tip number three is to not lock out your standing leg. If you lock out your knee, you're more likely to lose your balance, but if you bend your knee just a little bit while you kick, you're less likely to lose your balance. So here, boom, bending your knee just a little bit helps with the balance. Tip number four also helps with your balance a little bit, and that's to keep your core tight and to keep your hands up or at a steady place. So if you, don't have your core tight and you're just flopping all around, you're gonna lose your balance. Also, if your hands aren't staying at a steady place, they're gonna lose your balance. So keep them up, keep them out, however you like to keep your hands, and then keep your core tight when you're doing all your kicks. Tip number five kind of goes back to the first tip of picking a height that you can keep your leg at, but you also need to be able to keep your knee steady at that height. Because if you drop your knee between kicks, you're going to be using a lot more effort to pull your knee back up to that height. So if I'm doing multiple round kicks and then I drop my knee, I have to bring it back up to do that kick again. So try to keep your knee at a steady height. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.